Hello and welcome to Kip Bob's vlog. It's Thursday the 9th of April. Um, one of the issues that we've been dealing with in the last couple of weeks is the voluntary and charity sector who've been saying to me that they have concerns about the loss of funding that they're going to be receiving um, but at the same time all the work they've got to continue to do and it's really important work they do and I thank them very much for it. Um, MPs including myself across the country and across parties have been making this point to government that the charity sector also now needed a, a help package, a bit like the employment retention package. So I was very happy yesterday that the Chancellor announced uh, 750 million uh, for the charity sector to help them through these times. 360 million of that is gonna be for charities supporting vulnerable people at this time. And about 370 million is gonna be for small and medium charities who are specifically supporting the coronavirus um, uh, effort. So delivering food, essential medicines, and fun, um, providing financial advice as well. There's also some match funding for some other issues. Um, uh, I think a, generally a positive response. I am checking with the Isle of Wight charities and voluntary sector over the coming days to make sure that these um, that these this package of measures are going to be available to them uh, and and to give feedback positive hopefully but whatever feedback I need to give feedback to government as well because we want to make sure um, it's great that, the, that this money is now available but we need to make sure it's getting to the right charities and clearly on the island that is the charities that are doing lots of good work with the coronavirus folks but also more broadly the charity and voluntary sector because we need to make sure that they are healthy and can get back on their feet very quickly uh, once the coronavirus uh, lockdown uh, lifts which are, um, is no doubt now just going to be um, not going to be next week but a few weeks away so that's all from me thank you very much indeed